Fishing is one of the oldest and most common methods of procuring food all over the world. That's why a large percentage of the global population live near some body of water. Fishing can have its dangers, but with proper planning and safety measures, many fishermen make it back to shore with their catch in one piece. Sometimes, though, the tides can turn. What started out as a regular evening of fishing along Scotland's east coast quickly deteriorated into a fight to survive back in August of 1848, when over 100 men found themselves stuck at sea during a violent storm. The Moray coastline has provided plentiful ocean harvests to the Scottish people for centuries, and that was no different in the year 1848 when this disaster took place. It started like any other August afternoon with the water promising an evening of good fishing. It was an opinion shared by hundreds of fishermen who descended on the east coast that evening, hoping to fill their small vessels with herring. Even as the sun dipped beyond the horizon, there was still no warning of what was to come. However, as darkness swept over the ocean and it approached midnight, it started becoming clear to the fishermen that something was brewing. The ocean below them was choppy and the gentle breeze had picked up into a steady wind. Many of the smaller vessels soon decided it was best they call it a night and head back to shore instead of running the risk of the rampant waves sinking their boats. Unfortunately, that decision was made too late for a hundred men. By the time they had hauled in their nets and made a desperate dash for the nearest harbor, the waves were too great, and their boats began taking on water. You see, while the open hulls allowed for increased amounts of fish to be brought on board, they also made these vessels vulnerable to taking on water rapidly. Of the estimated 800 boats that were out in the water that night, 124 of them never made it back to shore, taking 100 lives with them. The loss of these men was felt across many Moray communities, leaving behind nearly 50 women without their husbands and more than 150 children without fathers. Naturally, an inquest was launched into the tragedy with the hope that safety improvements could be made within the fishing industry to avoid such incidents from happening in the future. Captain John Washington was tasked with reviewing the events and preparing the report. A year later, he presented the House of Commons with his suggestions. First, he pointed out that the obvious fact that the open design of the boats left them exposed to surging waves. Second, Captain Washington highlighted the lack of available harbors along the coastline, making it much harder for vessels to get to safety should dangerous weather strike. Thankfully, these recommendations were taken to heart and had a direct impact on harbors along the east coast of Scotland. The Fishery Board of Scotland also began pushing fishermen towards decked vehicles, which would offer them greater protection against the elements. A large number of the fishermen were resistant to that recommendation, preferring to stick with what they knew best. However, over time, they realized the inclusion of a deck allowed for a large structure overall, which meant the catch capacity wasn't affected. The Murray Firth fishing disaster played a large role in all the vessels off the East Coast becoming fully decked by the end of the 19th century, leading to safer fishing and a better life for everyone involved. Thanks for letting us tell you this sinister story. If you enjoyed it, subscribe on whatever platform you're on and hit like, rate it, or leave a comment. Join us next week when we'll take you somewhere sinister.